which starting from the front door, which you can see is elevated substantially above the street level for privacy. We've got an open living room den area. In most houses in this neighborhood, these two rooms are separated by a load bearing wall. So it's nice to see them open. Uh, you can see through the dog leg that you have um, access to the alley from that side of the house. Moving back, you've got an open kitchen sort of dining area, although it feels too small for that. Um, and what could be either a mud room or a more informal transition to this large deck on the outside that's built above a garage. I'm gonna head out here and you can see the condition of the deck in my opinion is not very good. Uh, I don't think it's in imminent danger. It's just that because it's made of wood and it doesn't look like it was sealed very well, it could be a problem. Going back into the house and through the kitchen, uh, we're now transitioning into the upstairs. Sorry about that. Uh, this is the first room facing the front of the house with a walk-in closet. This is the second room also with a walk-in closet and also of a substantial size, which is unusual for houses in this neighborhood to have three. Uh, this is the shared bathroom. And this is the master suite, which has dual vanity bathroom, shower, toilet, a lot of natural light and a substantial amount of space with two exposures and a walk-in closet. We're now on the lower level. The stairs were under, uh, or the access point was under the stairs. We're towards the front of the house now, looking back. The space looks smaller than it is because it was painted dark. Uh, there's an exterior door that goes to that dog leg, so you have access to the alley. You have hookups here for a washer and dryer. And a little bit further back, you've got sort of a bedroom set up uh, with a closet, a utility closet uh, where the systems for the house are, and a full bath. This area also has a door that leads to the garage. The garage could fit up to three cars. It's double width. One of the cars would have to be parked tandem but it's a great amount of space. I wanna point out here, the floor is buckling in the kitchen due to water damage. 